Hey guys, um, just wanted to explain why episode 1, 2, and 3 aren't going to be uh, long as shit. That's because um, I found out about Hero when the second chapter was already up. Um, I did not find... Because I haven't been on Choices for a long time. I've been focusing on Gacha World mostly. So I sort of threw uh, Choices away. Not like, like throwing it away for good. But just throwing it away for a little bit. And uh, now I am... Um, I just got back on it seeing if... Uh, if there's like another new story, because I was looking back on Braidwood Manor and I was like, man, I wish there was another new story that I could like, you know, keep up to date with y'all guys instead of y'all guys being behind, which is why the Crown of the Flame, the final episode wasn't really a big explosion of views like I thought it would be. But um, yeah, because the last episode of Braidwood Manor was actually pretty high. Like all every episode has a good amount of views. So I was looking back at that and I was like, damn. I wonder if choices have anything new. So I checked, and this was here, and I was like, wow, this is interesting. So, um, I want to keep you guys behind on these chapters, so that is why uh, episode 1, 2, and 3 will all be full chapters. So, chapter 1 will be episode 1, chapter 2 will be episode t 2, <laughs> chapter 3 will be episode 3, but then uh, we'll get back onto it when the fourth chapter comes out, which if I'm correct, it will be Thursday. So, yeah, um... Thank you guys for uh, listening, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. I can be your hero, baby. I can kiss away the pain. Hey, party people, how's it going? My name is Cyclone Hunter, and welcome to another Choices book. This one's new. And um, you know what, I, I was looking back at my old videos, I was noticing the one that really got the big hype was when I did new stories, which no one's ever reacted to before, or no one ever did before. Well now, they got something new, it's called... I can be your hero, baby! No! No! No, 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 that song is never being played on this damn channel again. I can be your hero, baby! God damn it, motherfucker, they did it again. Okay, so, I don't know what's about, but apparently I can take to the skies, make friends, find love, save our city in this action-packed adventure, which I don't, I bet, I swear to God, I better be a fucking dude. I better be a fucking dude. I have a feeling I'm not a fucking dude. Whoa. They threw at me. Oh, <gasps> yes! I can finally have a penis. I can finally look Mexican. <laughs> um, my name shall be H Man. L Man. God damn it! <laughs> I, I picked H. I am L-Man, coming to the rescue. Holy shit! Chapter 1, the first day of the rest of my life. We soar over the ruins of a north bridge and touch down amidst the wreckage of shattered skyscrapers. Where are you? Come and face me! Yeah! A figure rises out of the smoke and fire with re re breathing chaotic energy. I'm not hiding. You're the one who's hiding. You've been hiding all your life. What should I say? What do you mean hiding? What do you mean? Hiding from what? Bitch. From yourself. From what you truly are. You haven't even begun to comprehend the power within you. Maybe so, but I know enough to finish this. Not this. No, this is not the end. Soon you'll realize that this is only the beginning. Well, I mean, at the beginning of the thing, it did say book one. Shut up! Okay, let's go. We caught a glimpse of our destiny. Six months earlier. Bzz, 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 bzz. Shut up. I'm up. I'm up. 
Let me see your eyes focus on the ten. Late! Oh fuck shit! I'm very, very late. Oh shit, fuck them. We leap out of bed, throw open our closet closet doors. This could be the biggest day of my career. I need to look great. God really? There's more of this. Which one looks less like Superman? Neither. <laughs> Neither. Basic blue. God damn it. <laughs> what the fuck? I feel like they're really trying to beat episodes at the moment. That'll do, I guess. Um, you know, whatever. Dress for work, we leave our apartment and sprint to the train station. <laughs> Come on, don't leave without me. Ah! Just as we reach the platform, the train doors close shut. No! No! Hey! Wait! Wait! We watch the helplessly well we watch helplessly as the train barrels away from the station, leaving us behind. Of all the days to be late to work. Why did it have to be today? I don't know what's going on. You're not explaining anything. After waiting around for the next train, we finally arrive at the Prescott Industries. The tall glass skyscrapers gleams brightly in the morning sun as we walk toward the building. We hear someone call our name. We turn around to see Poppy Paddle hurrying toward us with their two ice plates. La El, wait up! Wait, Poppy? Poppy? I'm Poppy. I'm Poppy. I am Poppy. I'm Poppy. I'm Poppy. I'm Poppy. I'm Poppy. I'm Poppy. Shit! A crazy lady. Poppy, what are you doing here, you crazy son of a bitch? Bringing you an ice lead to kickstart your big day, of course. Oh, latte, my bad. <laughs> I just realized, shut up. You're gonna need it now that you're in charge of planning the biggest social event of the season. Why the fuck is this music playing so damn loud? Do you know why? No, not really. Speaking of which, you didn't happen to snag your favorite person in the whole world and invite, did you? You said last week that you would try to get me to the big gala at Prescott Industries tonight. Holy shit! Someone turned down the music! Someone calm the fuck down on that music! Holy shit! So this latte comes from a few strings... Uh, oh, okay, there. Comes with a few strings attached, huh? No, well, maybe a little bit, but you will try to get me in, won't you, you little bastard? I got you a latte. All the best and brightest and most fashionable people on Northbridge will be there. Oh, my God. I've always heard this. When Prescott Industries unveils a new technology that's major. Um, not just major. Uh, Silas Prescott said his new invention would change the world as we know it. And what is it? No clue. I work for Grayson Prescott, not his father, remember? I'm dying to know what the invention is, just like everybody else. Speaking of Grayson, oh my god, can someone fucking tell that band to call their shit? They are literally just freaking spreading it all over this bitch. Okay, thank you. Speaking of Grayson, the handsome, charming heir parent. Oh my god, you, you could ask him to invite me, couldn't you? I'm sure he wouldn't say no to his favorite executive assistant. If I can get the inside scoop on the gala, it'll be shoo-in for the promotion of Morty Senior Fashion Editor. I need this, L. I know, I know, Poppy. This is a big opportunity for me, too. Then get in there, do the best job you possibly can with the gala prepper, and Grayson will be so impressed. He won't say no to you. Oh my god. I promise I'll find some way to pay you back. I don't think I. Okay, okay. You wanna how you can pay me back? Kill the band. Big time. Kill the fucking band. But thanks, Poppy, uh, but my friends don't owe each other. You're so gonna owe me. There you go, you're so gonna owe me. Like, we're not just we're not just talking one favorite here. I'm thinking like three at least, maybe as many as five. Uh, why do I feel like I'm making a deal with the devil? Oh my god. Hey, those are the terms, take it or leave it. 
All right, all right. I hereby sign my soul over. Just don't forget to ask him, okay? I promise I will. Now, I really should get going to work. I'm late enough as it is. And so are you. And don't be silly. Being fashionably late is all part of the job. Oh my god. Oh, thank you. Someone shut the damn music up. We push through the glass doors and into the lobby of Prescott Industries, where Grayson Prescott conveniently directs the gala preparations. Bring those tables through here, we'll wait to give our guests the best possible view at tonight's unveiling. Grayson turns and notices us enter. Oh, there you are, just in the nick of time. Sorry I'm late, somehow I managed to miss my train. Again. It's all right, you're here now. I am. So, how are the gala preparations going, Miss Prescott? Mr. Prescott, my bad. <laughs> Please, Al, Mr. Prescott is my father. Call me Grayson, man. We didn't go to school together after all. Oh, what? All right, Grayson. Actually, I, I was hoping I could ask you something. Just then, Marjorie Miles, Director of Operation, watches over her eyes narrowed between her thick frame glasses. Half <laughs> about time you shut up, Al. Uh, it's only a quarter past. Exactly, a quarter past the time you were supposed to be here, bitch. In other words, late. As for you, Grayson, your father wants a word. It sounds urgent. Uh, thanks for letting me know, Al. Thanks for letting me know. Al, uh, can you handle this on your own? Yeah, 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 definitely, man, definitely. I got your back. Don't worry. I'll make sure he doesn't screw anything up, anything up too badly. Oh, like you screwed up your line, bitch? Ah! I'm, I'm sure you won't. See you later, Al. Good luck. As Grayson heads for the elevators, Marjorie, Marjorie, yeah, Marjorie, it's Marjorie, yeah, yeah, she's a Marjorie. Marjorie turns to look at us, her expression impatient. Tonight could be the most important night in his company's history. You understand what that means, Al? That means that it's also the most important night of yours. Otherwise, unremarkable life. Why, what? I didn't understand what I said there. See? Huh? <laughs> you, you look, you're freaking trying to see if I can fuck up my shit? Well, guess what? You're fucking up on your lines. Uh, just shut up. So, are you finally ready to do your job and help me? Look, Mushy, um... Why don't you try asking nicely now? Is everything okay? You know? You seem very bitchy today. Uh, no, everything is not okay. The mayor's office had weeks to RSVP and any dietary restrictions. And they waited until the morning to let me know that the mayor is allergic to selfish. Shellfish! So, we don't serve that. <sighs> Tell that to the 30 pounds of Chevite de Chamon. Ch Cheval, Ch French, we already paid for. Oh. That is a problem. But uh, I'm, I'm sure I can figure something out. Someone's knocking. Give me a sec. Um, I forgot to do something actually. Um, I forgot to announce this. Today that I'm recording this is uh, my nephew's birthday. He's finally six years old. So, uh, happy birthday to him. That's all I'm going to say. Happy birthday, Aiden, if you ever watch this. Um, okay, so let's continue. I wish I had so much faith in you as you do. Alright, so uh, where do we start? Well, I need you to call around and find something not embarrassing to serve for an appetizer at the gala tonight. Do you think you can stop swiping and pick, pick, pick talking or whatever you millennials do long enough to accomplish one task? Bitch, I am not even a millennial. What the fuck is a millennial? Can someone get okay, someone in the damn comments. Explain what a millennial is, because I've been hearing it. I don't know if it's just kids that were born in 2000s or what, but... Oh, man. Some people are stupid. Okay. Uh, yeah, I can do that. We pull over our laptop. Oh, hello. From our bag and start searching for caterers. <laughs> Fifteen minutes later. Well... 
Let's order. Oh, that to la caviar. Caviar. Hmm, rare, expensive. That could be acceptable. It'd be, it better be. One serving costs more than I make in a whole week. <laughs> Since you managed to produce a half rare decent idea for the appetizers, what do you think we should do with all this kevish? Kev uh, hmm. We could serve it for lunch. No? Don't eat it? Mm. I don't know, I'm trying to think here. We could donate it. I'm sure the Northbridge Homeless Shelter would be glad to take it. Well, aren't you the little hero? And then again, donations are tax deductibles. Congratulations on not screwing this up, L. Keep it up, and you might even be considered semi competent semi com com Fuck words, someday! <laughs> you always messing up your lines, bitch. <laughs> I can't wait. Oh, why did I look disappointed by saying that? Well, either way, I'll continue handling things here. In the meantime, I need you to go check on Dax in the engineering and Santiago in security. Report back to Grayson once you confirm that they're ready. Yeah, okay, got it. And why are you still standing here? Chop, chop, bitch. Oh, that, that you know how to do, but you don't know how to say your lines. Fuck you. Great! Now we're in freaking in the summer. <laughs> Got dead. A few minutes later, we step into the engineering lab to find it seemingly empty. Uh, hello? Oh, wait, sorry. Uh, hello? Dax? Anybody here? Huh. At the far end of the room, a certain... A curtain hides an enorm yeah, enormous something from view. That must be the new technology Prescott Industries is unveiling in the gala tonight. As we step deeper into the lab, the floor beneath our feet begins to tremble gently. It's supposed to be secret, but Dax probably wouldn't mind if I took a peek, I think. I should... Uh... You wanna know what I'm gonna do? We're gonna sneak a peek, yeah. As you step toward the curtain, the trembling in the floor ramps up intensely. What the? Just then, Dax decides, slides out of the ben from beneath a nearby computer console, pushing his goggles up onto his forehead. Whoa! Whoa! What are you doing, Al? You can't just go touching things in here. Well, you know, that could be highly radioactive. It is? Ah, shit. We quickly retreat away from the curtain. No, it's not ready, you have to, but it could be because science. My phone went off, I'll get it later. And besides, I'm still working the kinks out. I thought everything was fine, but somehow the XD-917 crystalline airy just activated all into its own. Chris, crystalline, wait, what now? Didn't say that. I, I mean, classified, redacted, under NDA, NBA, bleep, bleep. Right, uh, a secret. <laughs> anyway, um, Marjorie asked me to check on the preparations for their unveiling tonight. Will they be ready? Dax inspects the data, visualization, visualization. <laughs> that voice really fucked up my words. Oh man. Visualizations streaming on a nearby console. Oh, weird! Things seem fine now! I literally never seen that happen before! You're not carrying any raw protidium around you? Uh, not that I know of. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think so. That is very, very strange. And I'm going to run through a system diagnostics once more to be sure, but yeah, I'll solve system screen. As much as I understand it anyway, all you see like knows what it's supposed to do with the powers turned down. Wait, seriously? Yep, but I'm just as joked about the big reveal today as you are. Okay, well, good. We start turn toward the door and then turn back. Ah, um, actually Dax, uh, there is one more thing. Sure, what's up? I thought you might want to know that there, there's... Oh, uh, want to know if there's a certain chance that Poppy is coming to the gala tonight? 
Oh, I really? Why would I want to know that? Uh, you tell me. I was definitely getting a vibe when the three of us went out for drinks last week. Ah, uh, vibe? What kind of vibe? For me? I'm confused. Oh my god, what is this music? I don't know, Poppy. I think every time we talk about Poppy, this music comes up. But yeah, I can see that. I mean, she could never be interested in me like that. I mean, because this fucking music just keeps on coming up when we talk about it. So maybe she don't deserve to come to the party. Could she? Only one way to find out. Although I technically haven't asked Grayson if I could, if I can invite her yet. Well, just let me know, I guess, and don't. Uh, either way. Oh, ladies, I'm sure I'm wearing anything special. What do you think about cologne? I mean, I don't own any cologne, but I've got an access of lots of chemicals. I could probably whip something up. What about the dioxide? Yes, dioxide, the top priority, I. Exactly, huh? I'll see you later, Dex. <laughs> that voice. I found like, in my opinion, it sounded like Bill Cosby. <laughs> Why? Why was that voice Bill Cosby? <laughs> but yeah, uh, so now we are here going, we are headed to the chief of security office where Santiago Lupo eyes a row of security monitors. Once has been turned to local news, or one has been turned to local news. String of brass in daylight robberies that have flogged the North Bridge Jewelry District. Santiago smiles as we walk over. Morning, now. You hear about all these own robberies? Robberies? Ah. Uh, what do you think? Uh, sorry, I don't really watch the news. Yeah, I'll say that. Sorry, I don't really watch the news. Why not? Ah, uh, too depressing. I don't need that kind of stress in my life, I guess you could say. Well, sure, but just because you're not seeing it doesn't mean it does not happen. Oh, it's not happening. Okay, uh, then why don't you get me up to speed? Basically, this gang has been stealing diamonds all over the city and the police are stumped. That actually sounds pretty bad. Oh, shit. Unfortunately, they're hardly the worst the city has to offer. But don't worry, I went over to the security plaza for tonight's gala with Sil Silas Prescott personally. The party's gonna be great, but the security will be even better. You'd need an attack helicopter to punch your way through our defense grid. Oh yeah, bitch. Huh, isn't that kind of uh, overkill, I guess? Hell no! No such thing in my book. Maybe Braddy District Attorney Castros, all the most important people in the city, are going to be Prescott Industries tonight. Nothing is going to happen on my watch. I feel safer already. <laughs> After saying goodbye to Santiago, we take the elevator up to the second highest floor and step into the Grayson Prescott office. Hey, El, everything ready for tonight? Yep, everything's taken care of. That's good news, but I believe there is one more thing to discuss. There was? This morning, you wanted to ask me a question? What was it? Oh, uh, I, I have a friend who wants to come to the gala tonight. She's one of my best friends, and she's a junior fashion editor at Motif. If you could put her on the guest list, uh... She'll write something nice about the gala. Ha! I expect my father's announcement tonight will make for pretty good... For plenty of good publicity. Oh. Right. But, there's no need to sell more on her, atten on her attending. She's more than welcome to come. Really? Really? Any friend of yours is a friend of mine. Now, am I mistaken or is it, or is the junior editor you're referring to Poppy Patel? <laughs> yeah, that's her. I remember you two were close in school. She's more than welcome, but I have to say. I was devastated to see her article declaring that joggers were officially off-trend. 
Oh, uh, I'm sure they'd still work if you... <laughs> I'm kidding, Al. <laughs> gotcha. Ah, gotcha. Okay. <laughs> See you tonight? Definitely. Walking back home, walking back home, the night back at our apartment. Bum, 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 bum. Eee, I'm so excited. Oh my god. This is the this is the swankiest social event of the entire year, and I actually get to go? Uh-huh. All thanks to my best friend Al, who I will definitely find some way to repay. Better. I've been thinking about the gala for weeks, and I know exactly what I'm going to wear. Poppy slips into the other room and emerges a few minutes later wearing a slinky dress. <laughs> Ta-da! You don't have to tell me I look fabulous because I already know I do. <laughs> now, the important question, what are you going to wear? Ah, uh, I, I don't know. Uh, I, was, I was thinking I'd just wear what I have on. Oh, seriously. Listen, tonight's going to be huge for us, or for you. If you want to move up in the world, you've got to look the part. Not to mention, you've been single for the far too long. My friend, I'd say it's high time we change that. Uh, do you think that uh, be anyone who's my type there? <laughs> well, you never know, right? But you should at least dress up for my sake. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not a fan of Grayson. Why the fuck would I care about Grayson? You know, your best friend who helped you through so many hard times in college? I seem to remember that the older way around, but okay, what do you suggest? I'm glad you asked. Poppy digs through her clothes she bought over and pulls out a garment bag. I've been hanging out onto this for a fashion shoot, but no one will notice if it goes missing for a night or two. Go ahead and try it on. We step out of the room, change, and return a few minutes later. Yeah, I was gonna say, that seems, that seems normal. Well, uh, what do you think? Oh my god, stunning, simply stunning. Promise me you'll wear that. Yay! Ah, well, I'm gonna be honest with you, sorry. Or I guess you could just wear what you wore to work. Ah, God. Uh, this gala is my work, Poppy. It might be all fun and games for you, but I'm on the clock. Well, still, I'm sure we can squeeze in a little fun. Are you ready to head out? Ready. I lock it. Cool. I was double checking the room. Hey, show the press card and she. Oh, that's cool. I like the new art on this. Well, Poppy and us arrive at the gala to find the Prescott Industries lobby awash in a sea of high profile guests in gowns and tuxes. Uniformed waiters circulate with trays of appetizers and fluttered glasses of sparkling champagne. I never thought I'd say this, but I'm feeling a little underdressed. This party is bouge as hell. Tell me about it. <laughs> hey guys! Oh shit, I forgot his voice. Hey guys! There you go. <laughs> Speaking of getting dressed up, nice to finally see you out of that lab coat, Dax. It's weird, right? I feel weird. I think I'm gonna go put it back. No, don't. Seriously. Oh my god, what is wrong with you? Why do you want to put that coat back on? You look good, and we already have one. Prescott employee wearing their work clothes tonight. Yeah, yeah, isn't that the same outfit you were wearing earlier? Ah, well, you know what? Uh, what, what is this going up on Elder? Ha ha ha, about Elder? What the fuck? <laughs> Sorry, I mean, he's doing a little professional. That's something. I don't know why he talks like that. <laughs> What about me? Oh my god. Yo, okay, I guess. Oh my god, he just. He fucked up. He fucked up. He fucked up. <laughs> he fucked up. You never say. Yeah, okay, I guess. You never say that. You never say it. His voice, man. 
Pommy punches Dax in the arm. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm sorry, you look great. Ah! <laughs> That's better. Come on, let's go get some drinks. Next round on me. But it's an open bar. Details, details. The things I do for y'all. <laughs> Us and Jack stroll behind Poppy and our way to the bar, hanging back just out of her earshot. So, are you nervous? No, no, we've been, we've been regulous, wait, regularly tested the uh, device since this morning and normally and everything looks, you know, good. I mean, Poppy, genius. <laughs> Why do you really think she might be interested in big guy? I'd say you're doing great so far. <laughs> great, thanks, Al. Of course. Okay, so the three of us cross the lobby, passing by District Attorney Mayako Clastulos and her son. I don't. Is she Chinese? No, it. Well, somewhat Asian. Kenji, I can't believe this. You wait until now to tell me you're dropping out of law school? Well, that, uh, I got it off. <laughs> can I just focus on enjoying the part? <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am, sir. Here are your drinks. <laughs> Finally, bottom up. <laughs> this conversation is in order. Kenji, let me tip the waitress for these drinks and we'll. That's strange. I'm gonna let my wallet at home. It's quite all right, ma'am. No tip necessary. Oh my god. As we reach the bar, Poppy taps our arm and points. Hey, Al, look who it is. Out of the far end of the bar. Gray, we're most wanted now. At the far end of the bar, Grayson stands close. Close circle with several businessmen and his father, Silas Prescott. I gotta say, I'm glad you boys came to us with this opportunity. The Bayside neighborhood has been an unsightly blemish on our far city for far too long. It could use a little redevelopment. Dad, I'm not sure. Dad, I'm not so sure about this deal. Redeveloping Bayside would mean pricing long-term residents out of their homes. Where are those families supposed to go? The rent in the city is already at an all-time high. Wow, this thing's hitting me now in the balls. That's what it's doing. Silas flashes an annoyed look at his son, but quickly covers it with a laugh. <laughs> Gentlemen, you'll have to forgive my son. He doesn't quite have the killer instincts necessary to succeed in this business yet. Maybe I just don't think, maybe I just don't think life has to be a zero-sum game. See, this time, Silas fall, fails to cover his annoyance. That's what losers tell themselves! You think I got to where I am today for being soft? I, I, I think I need to get some air. Excuse me, gentlemen. Mm, Grayson takes his drink and heads upstairs toward the back. His father's disapproving stare following him across the gala. Wow! <laughs> wow, that was... Hard to watch, yeah. Oh my god. Oh, it, it looks like Grayson's in need of uh, rescuing. Now's a chance to be a hero. Hero! Spending quality time with certain characters will improve your friendship, strengthen your connection, and no shit if you play cards right, you might even take your relationship to the next level, you know what I mean? Yeah, we're gonna get that dick up our ass, what? Definitely, it's not my place. I don't have money. Well then, whose place is it? You're his executive assistant. I'm sure he'll be okay. He deals with this sort of thing all the time. We decide not to talk to Grayson at the gala. Poppy, Dax, and us mill about the lobby for the next half hour, mingling with our Prescott Industry co-workers. Suddenly, a hush falls over the assembly guest as the music fades out. Oh, is this the big announcement? Shh. Try to listen, damn it. 
Everyone turns to watch Silas Prescott descend to the central staircase, holding the room's attention without so much of a word. Ladies and gentlemen, it's such an honor to see all of you here tonight. Mayor Brady, District Attorney, Castellos, whatever. I hope you're all enjoying my champagne. A ripple of laughter passes through the crowd and Silas smiles indulgently. <laughs> Which is that that would slide? But as many of you have probably guessed, I didn't organize this little shindig just for the pleasure of our esteemed company. In fact, I have something incredible to show you. Something that will change the world as we know it. The crowd chuckles pleasantly. Silas steps over to a large curtain at the far end of the room. Please forgive my flair for the dramatic. I know the suspense must be unbearable, but I assure you, I discovery of this magnitude deserves an equally grand reveal. The crowd goes quiet. Silas holds up an enormous pink crystal. Twenty-five years ago, my my late wife and I discovered this crystal on an archaeological expedition. Ooh. Oh my god, it's beautiful! Analysis revealed that this was no ordinary crystal. Its subatomic particles show a composition that defies quantum mechanics as we know it. So, the brilliant scientist at Prescott Industries has spent the last 25 years writing new rules. Dax, this is the secret project you were working on. Okay, see, now you're just sounding a lot like Bill Cosby. Ah, no! <laughs> this incredible discovery now powers a device we call the Prism Gate. Silas gestures and the curtain behind him raises, revealing a strange device with two curved pylons attached to a control panel. You're going to show it? There you go. The Prism Gate operates under its own power and provides access to a clean and exhaustible energy source. The crowd gasps. <gasps> the fuck does that mean? You idiot. That means... Well, you know what, fuck it. You heard that right. Infinite clean energy. An end of famine. F famine to pollution to equality now watch Silas places the crystal in a slot on the prism gate to control panel oh prism gates control panel and the prism gate begins to resonate a pink otherworldly glow fills the entire lobby well that's that's actually that's honestly cool I press it again? Oh, yeah, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the future. Oh, shit! This is the crowd erupts in our applause. An explosion thunders from overhead. The overhead skylight bursts inward, showing the room with shot of glass. What the hell? Security! Everyone, everyone stay calm. Four masked men carrying fully automatic rifles rappel down into the lobby from the roof. Yeah, bye bye. Everyone on their knees. This is a robbery, bitch. Nobody does anything stupid. Nobody has to die. So pretty, pretty, please. Do something stupid. Oh, wow. Oh, crap. This ain't good. We completed chapter one, and guess what? We're still not a goddamn superhero. <laughs> God damn it.
I'm over here waiting to turn superhero. And then, next thing you know, they don't put you superhero. I'm like, what the fuck? Stupid. Okay, well. Like, subscribe, share this video with y'all guys' friends because it would help me and this channel a lot. Especially if y'all guys subscribe because it builds the channel and it helps me out. And also leave a comment because that thing will also, I don't know, comments, they make me feel happy and they encourage me to keep on doing this shit. So, I'll see you guys in the next episode of Hero. Bye, guys.